This is Josh Mansky. In this video, I'm going to be telling you or teaching you how to create a more complex screen manager um, using KiviMD in Kivi. So basically, here, let's just drag this down. Actually, I do need this because um, I just tested to make sure that this code works. But before I talk about the code, I just want to make sure that you know you have to to use KiviMD in Kivi. You have to. to um, install Kivi, so pip install Kivi MD, or oops, it's, I would do Kivi first, so where is it, pip install Kivi, it should run through this, say successfully install Kivi, you go pip install Kivi MD, run through this, and say successfully install Kivi MD. So once you've done that, um, and obviously you're doing this on PyCharm, because PyCharm is one of the best um, IDEs for Python, in my opinion. Um, once we've done all that, then we can get into the coding. And I've just, I've, this is actually mine. This is for, if you go to the KVMD website, you go under components and go to navigation draw, you can find this code. Um, I've, I was going to write my own to show you guys, but I decided that this was pretty much basically what I was going to show you guys anyway. So, and if you can't, you know, if you don't want to understand, if you can't understand me or you like to just read explanations, you can go to the KVMD website and they have a, Pretty good, pretty good explanation of this. But you know, for those who just like to listen, um, here is my explanation of how to create a content navigation drawler, which is basically just a screen manager, which you know allows you to flip from screen to screen in a app. So basically, first you got to import all these. So this is why you need Kivi. So you need to import builder, so you can basically just use this builder. Builder load string KV. So basically, so just so you can do the KV instead of having another KV file, you know, you can do like main.kv. You can do that. I don't like to do that. I just prefer to have it all in my main.py file, you know. And if you want to, you can just minus all that. And then, you know, if you don't want to see it all, but for the purposes, we will see it because everything runs through it. But basically, yeah, so you need builder, object properties, just, um, because you need the screen managers and you need to treat them as object properties um, in your content navigation drawler. And then you need your app for KVMD just because you're creating an app. And then you need the box layout because that's where your screens are going to be. So now we get to our KV. So we just, I mean, this can be anything, right? This doesn't need to be KV. But just, they said it as KV. I like to do it as KV a lot too. It's just because this is what your KV is. You know, this is where you're writing your KV. Um, and then you're just defining, so you're finding your screen as your content navigation drawer. This is going to be your main thing. That's why you have it right up at the top, um, right? So it's, you, you put content navigation drawer right at the top because um, this is saying that you want to go, it, like it wants to set the primary like screen as a content navigation drawer. That's why it's up at the top. And then, so then now you're just defining things. So you're defining a scroll view. Um, and then, so scroll view basically just allows you to scroll within the, the screen. And then it says an MD list, and then you're putting, which is just a Kivi MD list, and then um, you're putting. So basically, this is just it's just a syntax for saying I want to get one screen, or I want to give one of my items in the list um, to be text is screen, and then on press, which is mean once you press that item in the list, it wants you to take root because the root is um, this the root. Right, it's, it's, it's saying um, root, not self, but root, um, dot nav drawer, dot set state is closed. So it's, and then it's basically just saying, it just um, basically just saying that it wants to, to bring you to, it wants the, it wants the screen manager, which is a, a like a property or it's a, a part, yeah, property of KVMD. It wants you to bring the screen manager. It wants to set, basically set the, the current screen to screen one, which is um, going to be, um, should be right here, the screen one, right? It's going to set you to screen one. And once, so yeah. So, and then it just says the same thing. This is what it's just saying. It's just basically saying on press, on press, you know, set the screen to screen one and go to the screen one. And so that's what this list is doing. And then it goes to down to this empty screen um, where it goes. So this is just basically giving you a screen and, and it is saying, um, so it's basically, this is, so this is just setting your list, right? Your empty list. 
but then now it's taking this empty list. It's going to put this in the screen. So this is going to be what's going to show up when you actually take the when you actually like open the app. When I run this app, you're going to see a screen. It's going to have a toolbar, which is just a thing at the top. You'll see what I mean. Um, and then the ID is a toolbar. Just ID is just so it can be used, and like so I can reference it later. Let's see where it references right here. Um, toolbar height is just so that I can reference this toolbar, and then. Position height, hint, position hint is just saying the top. It wants to start at the top at, at one, so it's just starting at the top at the very top. Elevation is is ten. Elevation is just giving um, like a little lift, so you can see like a little shadow type of thing. Um, it's just so that you can so that it looks like that the toolbar is on top of the screen. It's just that's basically all it is. And then title is just giving it empty navigation drawer. You'll see that on the toolbar, and then left action items. This is uh, you don't, really, you don't really need to understand this right now. Um, I'll probably come back to this in a second. But basically, just this is just saying it's open because it's closed because it hasn't been referenced yet. All right. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically what it is. And then you go to MD Navigation Layout, where we have our. Um, so we're just setting the, the navigation layout. The X is equal to the two bar height. So that's just saying. Um, it's x value and then we go to our screen manager so we're giving an obvious id so it can be referenced later like we reference it up here screen manager screen manager is this is just what we get and then but inside of our screen manager we want to have two screens right so this is saying this is our like this is our screen one so when we actually click like the screen manager is basically something that can allows you to reference a screen or allows you to basically change between screens, or that's more of a content navigation drawer. But a screen ma manager is used to basically to change between screens, and the content navigation drawer is um, what it's like the visual act, kind of more. It's kind of like the visual aspect of it. But we have so we have our MD screen, which is an MD simple MD screen, and then I give it a name of screen one, so we can reference it up here, and then. On the screen, we want an empty label. I'm just going to say screen one, and it's going to have a um, horizontal alignment of center. It's just so you, you'll see it, but it's just literally just going to say screen one in the center of the screen. And then the same thing, you see the same thing for here, and then you you bring, so then you bring your, um, so this is, you bring your um, MD navigation drawer, and you have the ID of nav drawer. So then, and then you're just defining, you're just defining these down here. Content navigation drawer, so they're all part of the content navigation drawer. So when you reference this, you have these two things. That's basically it's just kind of a you just kind of like a syntactical thing. You just need to have it, and then you have a class content navigation drawer, an empty box layout. So you're seeing screen manager to go to object property, so that you can use it and save for a nav drawer, and then you take your class which is a test navigation drawer this is just basically just saying the name of the class and it's an md app so it's it's what you're going to be using md app and you basically just build just defining the build and then returning your is so what you want to return you want to return to your screen you know or you want to return the builder it's just basically just syntactic syntax of how you want to return your kv because where all your things is, is in your kv part so it's just returning it's loading it's basically just loading this as when it's trying to build and then this is just to say run this we're just going to run all of this so hopefully that made sense again you don't need to understand every single like thing i got bogged down is sometimes I, I like I don't understand one little thing you know maybe I don't understand why you know why this does or why this happens and then it bogs me down but you don't always get to understand every single little line of code I find that like you know sometimes it's just a lot of syntactical things that like isn't going to make sense at first but usually it kind of comes along once you've just been working with with it and it, it just kind of comes along. I find it, I find it comes along a little bit more naturally. So, if you don't understand everything, it's okay as long as you you'll you'll basically start to understand everything as you go along naturally. Like, you know, as you test everything out and you figure out, well, I want to make you know, I want to make it so that this this does you know this little thing does this on this screen manager or you know whatever. 
then you'll test it and be, be like, okay, I'm going to search this up. And then maybe you go to GitHub or something like that. Or you go to um, Stack Overflow or whatever. And you search it up and you say, oh, this thing. Or you just learn it from testing. I mean, I learned a lot of things from just testing. So don't be too worried if you don't understand. Actually, don't be worried at all if you don't understand um, some of the lines or, you know, some of what's going on here. Um, but if we build it, build and run it. So, see, we have our screen one. And then we go click screen one, it's gonna go to screen one. We go to screen two, it's gonna go to screen two. So see, this is basically just what we're doing. So this is, you know, right, so this is all you have. You have these two screens. And you can do a lot more, you can do a lot more, there's a lot more complexities to MD Navigation Toolbars, but as you see, this is my toolbar, you can see the elevations right here. This has MD Navigation Toolbar, and then pop up open, and it's gonna give you screen one and screen two. And you can just flip between the two screens. And that's basically, that's literally that's what literally it. Um, yeah, and then obviously I like to do in a lot of my videos is show you a lot more complex versions of this, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, so we have so this is a, a, a more complex version here. I'll just run it now so I can show you what we're going to be looking at. Uh, basically, the idea of what we just did is is the essence is right in here. You know, it's just there's a lot more like visuality to it or like you know it's more a lot more aesthetically pleasing like so you know same as the elevation and reach toolbar this is just a set screen you know there's no it doesn't have like my screen one but i go in here right so you can see there's an icon at the top not crazy hard to do but i'll just go into that in a second and then you have you know these titles and then you have uh, um app, these are called avatars You'll see them as avatars. I just call them icons, but you can click on them. They don't do anything, but you can make them do something. But then, so you go here, and then, and then it goes to the screen. And then, in that screen, you can create a list. list. So I put list in my screen, but you don't have to. You know, what I mean, you can put whatever you want on your screen. You know, it could look something like it doesn't here, right? You could just have that as your straight screen. But yeah. So then, and then that's so basically the essence of what we did is, you know in this app, right, in this content. This is our navigation dollar with our screen manager. Like, this this is the essence, it's just a lot more aesthetic. It's just more, there's more aesthetics to it, you know. So if we go back to here, basically we have, we set orientation to five and padding. So that is a lot of like this. This is like padding right here. It's just like around the text I want, you know, to add a width of five pixels, basically. That's just all it's doing. And that's spacing too. And then we want our anchor layout. That is, um, so this is our image. This is our avatar right here. Our image, we're setting our image. So anchor layout is just, um, is just setting the, like the, the layout that we, we saw at the beginning, the, like the blank layout. And then we go to our scroll view. So we have our ND list. So we go to our, like so, and then the MD list. If we go back to here, we look. Let's bring this down. We go to MD list. So we just see how we added the items. A lot of the stuff we added is just right here. It's just um, where, where the scroll view is, right? We just um, we added this MD label. So just a calculators, you know. And then right so you know and then we just have the, the, this is our font and then uh, you know size and we didn't have any size hints you know height it's just so all of the but like this is just like aesthetic stuff that you mess around with if you want but basically we're just we're adding labels um and then we just so this is our one list item so if we look back we can see so we add a label and then we have our items and then we added another label so if we go so we add it where is it? so we have our label item and then we added the eye so you can just bring this part of the label all, all you have to do to add an icon left icon widget which is just icon left widget because it's on the left as you can see right here it's on the left um it's literally just say icon left widget and icon and you can search up icons i think you can go to kivy md it might it might be on kivy actually it might be kivy but you can just search up icon and you can just find like there's like a list of like probably close to a thousand at least Maybe even like five thousand, just different icons, and you can just search up what you want and, t and like toss around which which ones see the best. So basically, and then we go look. So it goes label, icon, icon, or label, um, one list. So you have to change it up one 
one line icon list item instead of a one line one line list item right and it just changes up a little bit and the, oh and then um let's see if i i want to run this too so i can show you the differences between some of the stuff it should be right here oh here it is okay let me pull and the reason i want to show you is just for the spacing and stuff so you can see that a lot of this right a lot of this is there's a little bit more spacing i added spacing and padding and then the icons but you know basically it's the same and then so you can take that one less i um so yeah basically okay where where would we go wrong thing okay we go back to here so we have our one less icon i one less icon one line icon less item it's a tongue twister a little bit and then we got our icon widget and then we go down again so the same thing it's basically just an order order and then order and then another nd label and then we have our other resources so that's literally that's it and then we go on so it's that's and then we go on to our screens defining our screens but that is the basis like is the basis is is right in here it's just for mine like you can add you can add up here too instead of having just an image you can have like here you can have like a, you know more different types of labels um you can have other things if i actually um uh, i was gonna pull up the community stuff but you can just go there yourself um because but there's basically there's just some other little things um that that basically you can add on if you want but that's that's kind of the gist of it is i mean i so yeah i feel like that is just the gist of um md list and that's how you create more complex screen managers and navigation drawers for your apps I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from this. And thank you very much for watching.